Well, there's no doubt that with the dry times that we're having, the gardeners are looking for the solutions to these dry times and what plants they should be putting into their gardens. And of course, one of the obvious solutions is to plant native plants. But the real question is, which native plants should you put in? Because of course, native plants come from anywhere in Australia. So really, ideally, you'd put in local plants or locally endemic plants, which means plants that are from our part of the world. And the really big advantage of planting those kinds of plants is they are adapted to our soil types uh, and to our periods of dry weather and periods of moist weather in summertime, sometimes when they come. Now, of course, there are native plants which are adapted to all different kinds of climates. So if you've got a, a dry spot in the garden, you can find a native plant that suits that. If you've got a moister, shadier spot, you can also find a native plant that suits that. So there are native plants to suit every spot in the garden. Now, the question is, where do you buy these plants? Now, the most important thing is to find a place that actually does have someone who knows what they're talking about. So someone who can give you advice as to which plants go into your soil type in your particular garden, because all across the region, there are different soil types and different conditions. So find somebody who's got some local expertise. Now, if you are looking for native endemic plants, call in to see your independent garden centre or call in to see the Crow's Nest Community Nursery out at Crow's Nest. Now this is a council run facility that is specialising in growing local native plants. So you'll certainly get some plants that you won't see in the mainstream stream nurseries and you'll also get some really good advice. So always seek out people who have got a little bit of expertise in growing these plants. Well, my top three tips for keeping your garden going in drought dry times are to make sure that you do mulch properly. Around about 50 mils of chunky mulch is ideal for most gardens. Uh, do make sure that you water really thoroughly so that um, when you are watering, the water's going down deeply into the soil profile to encourage a nice deep root system. And of course, make sure you choose plants carefully, plants that are well adapted to our conditions, which often means some local native plants. I'm Brian Sands for Good Gardening for the Toowoomba Regional Council.